In Richmond, people gathered for months at the Robert E. Lee statue on Monument Avenue, renaming the area Marcus David Peters Circle to honor the Virginia man shot and killed by police during a mental health crisis in 2018. His sister, Princess Blanding, an educator turned activist, worked with lawmakers to reform policing. And they reached out to me and other people who they felt were community leaders and said, let's talk because now, yeah, we need to have this conversation about police reform. Reform efforts were intended to improve law enforcement's response to emergency calls related to mental health. In many of our communities, especially the black communities, we don't trust the police. When we see time and time again, from George Floyd to Breonna Teller to Tamir Rice to Marcus David Peters to my other brother who was recently killed by a police officer, and you tell me to trust the police, how and why? New Jersey police shot and killed 19-year-old Joshua Mathis in January. The incident is under investigation as Blanding mourns the loss of a second sibling. Prior to Mathis's death, Blanding's reform efforts in Virginia led to the passage of legislation in 2020 called the Marcus Alert System. The original version of the uh, Marcus Alert called for us to create community care teams, right, which had a mental health professional, a peer recovery specialist, somebody who has that lived experience with mental health, right, um, and a police officer standing in back, right. Blanding, who ran for governor of Virginia in 2021, continues advocating for change calling for civilian review boards and removing protections that shield officers from civil lawsuits. She also supports Governor Youngkin's calls for additional mental health service funding. Invested in those proactive measures, invested in those professionals who can be the correct responders to the early signs of, of, of a mental health crisis. In Chesterfield County, the police department isn't waiting for legislative reforms. It's been working on improving community care for decades. You guys been doing good? My expectation is that when a member of our department engage with a member of the public, we treat that person like they are the most important person in our world. Police Chief Jeffrey Katz says the way to build trust is to focus on building relationships. It's important for people to see us as partners uh, and as advocates as opposed to, uh, you know, an occupying force. Officer Justin Abshire has been with the Chesterfield Police Department for several years. In community engagement, our goal is kind of to address those underlying problems and see if we can't reduce the crime or the call volume in certain areas by working with the community to do outside the box uh, problem solving. Chesterfield's Community Engagement Unit is tasked with developing relationships and helping to figure out ways to address chronic issues like food insecurity, unemployment, or homelessness. Because there are so many negative messages out there about police, um, it's incumbent upon us to make sure that we engage as many people as possible before they need help so that they feel comfortable and safe reaching out to us so that we can provide them assistance in their time of need. Kat says police and mental health professionals should be working together. And when, when somebody calls that, are, that is in crisis, our interaction with them should be as minimal as possible. We should be able to you know, be with them, uh, take them to a resource center and get them treatment as fast as possible. That is not happening right now. And, um, and that's something that needs to change. The chief acknowledges there are successful co-response models in the country and says they're worth exploring, but warns that recent reforms may not be the answer. The reflexive reform efforts of the last couple of years have not made our community safer. And I think it's important that we go back to the drawing board and we evaluate from an informed perspective how we can all work together to improve our criminal justice system to enhance public safety. Thank you for watching. Continue to follow Virginia news and stories by subscribing to our VPM YouTube channel.